can the straight retelling of Cinderella possibly match the success of reimagined and matured fantasies Alice in Wonderland, Oz the Great and Powerful, and Maleficent? Simple, it's fairy tale porn. Nobody thought Twilight would do well or Fifty Shades of Grey, and yet both those films have proven to be the bell of the box office. Twilight brought in over three billion total, while Fifty Shades is currently the best-selling R-rated movie of all time on Fandango. And as a matter of fact, Cinderella is the foundation for both those films, as well as the film that made Julia Roberts a movie star, Pretty Woman. So, some of you still might be stuck on my fairy tale porn statement. Surely I'm being sensational, or am I just being honest? Look at the luscious colors, the opulent settings, the peacock fashions, the décolletage. That's French for cleavage, and this is a French fairy tale, ooh la la. It's as if everything's exploding. But how can I call Disney's Cinderella fairy tale porn when Twilight is much more focused on sex and Fifty Shades is literally softcore porn? Well, let's not forget that innocence can sometimes lead to the most erotic scenarios and the biggest audience of them all. Fairy tale porn is something you can watch with your parents or your kids, each of you thinking, hey, I'm the only one picking up on these vibes, right? Need further proof? Have you seen the prince? And you don't need to see him naked here because you've already seen him naked on Game of Thrones. Just fill in the blanks. How about in this version, the fairy godmother is a gilf, huh? Then let's not forget that going to the ball is the fantasy version of going to prom or your wedding. And we all know what's supposed to happen after those events, right? Well, at least that's the fairy tale. Finally, let's not leave out the guys. Cinderella can cook and clean, is super nice, and will obviously go along with anything so as not to rock the boat. Talk about a dream girl. And on the flip side, she marries the prince and gets to be a princess without having to accomplish anything or overcome any hurdles. A lot of ladies wouldn't mind that fate, something which has been undercutting feminism for decades. So, can you see it now? Has Disney finally mastered fairy tale porn? And what excites you the most about this new Cinderella? Be sure to leave your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.